When I first got started selling these great computers, and I still had my accounting business going, my wife found that, that computers didn't quite fit the decor of our house. And we rented a storage shed out here to a place, and I asked the, the owner over, over there that was running the, the storage shed uh, if they were going to rent this side. He said, well, I, I think they are. But then, then, then I, being a good Scotsman, uh, or whatever, uh, I still rented that storage shed, so I said, maybe he'll throw the storage shed in the deal. So, so I said, went to the same person again, oh, I know he won't do that. Guess what? I'm 85 years old and uh, hoping for another 292, because my dad went that far. And the Lord's got more work for me to do, so I guess that, uh, I'm praying for that. People have computers, and they're going to have problems with them. They're going to break a screen, or they're going to, uh, going to uh, get viruses off the Internet, and they don't know what to do about those. But they, all they know is they've got this device in their, in their hands that they've had a lot of fun with or used in a business, but now they can't use it. So they look for somebody to, to, that can, can fix that for them. Don L. being a single man and uh, me being a married man, uh, Donnell, this little microwave in here is important, and uh, and that uh, uh, refrigerator is important because he uh, spends most of his time here. Gets here, gets here early in the day, and I get here. Um, shall, I t shall I be honest and say about two two in the afternoon, <laughs> and sometimes later. Well, some days there's nobody in the shop at all. From the time I get here at eight in the morning till. Five, we might not have one person. And then some days it might be nine people lined up there wanting to buy computers and want me to fix computers and I'm running around here because he's not here yet. We worked together at, at first, we were both repairing computers, but, but quite frankly, uh, it's, it stayed with Donnell more than me. He does most of the repairs of computers today and that's more knowledgeable about that area than I am. I'm so serious about some people's computers that if they bring one in and I say, I'll have it ready tomorrow morning and something goes wrong, I might stay here at 12 o'clock at night before I leave out here, but it's done before I leave. And I love that. It's me and the Lord all the time. Now, I've got some business parts that I handle that, that, that he doesn't want to handle, and that's fine. So, we, to, to see, the Lord put us together, okay? And we're crazy together. And uh, it, kept, it kept growing to the point we didn't need any, any more business. And now we're thinking about uh, ways to, uh, to, to use our time as our Christian ability, because uh, both of us have a, a strong Christian background. My, I, my parents developed a divorce when I was five years old, and we moved to the big city with my mother, my grandmother, and my sister. And they would take, they would send us to church, uh, and sometimes go with us, but more often they send us by ourselves. I didn't realize at the time that maybe there's more to Christianity than was being taught in the church we were going. They're, they're looking, expecting to find something from God in the church, but the church is not delivering anything, and they'll go from church to church to church uh, and still looking for something. They, they don't know what it is they're looking for, see? And, and God wants from each of us, He wants to have each of us to, to be, have a personal relationship with Him. The hardest thing to, to do now is to get the people to understand that, uh, that they can have that personal relationship with God, and when God says He loves us all, He means exactly that. I met the Lord in 1985, but I think I really became a Christian in 2010. I mean, I thought I was a Christian all this time, but I think I really got a personal relationship with him 20-some years later. He and I talk just like you and I are talking now. We laugh and joke. Me and the Lord, we have times together. There, there's a joy and a peace about, even though the world's falling apart, so to speak, uh, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm 15, 20 years away from the end of this world, uh, but I want to share this. 
and what's it like to that? Uh, it's really hard to explain. It's about like about like going on a, a vacation. You see some beautiful scenery, and you come back home and you want to express that to somebody. There just isn't a way you can, without having been there, that you are able to explain to people what it's like. I treat him like a friend. I treat him like one of the best friends I've ever had, and then I treat him as as the best doctor I ever had. And I treat him as the best lawyer I ever had. He can be my mother, he can be my father, and they're all gone. I've had a lot of opportunities to be in the grave, and when, when you, when you uh, escape death, when you know you should be dead, that's nothing but a miracle to me, you know. And I've seen many of those. So I don't know how a person can not serve a God like that. And I know I'll always serve him. If I couldn't talk, I'd serve him in my heart, you know. If I couldn't see, I'd serve him knowing that he's right there. Oh, I have, have opportunities of going blind at times. Last week I had, I don't have a one eye. And I had something that he's been my doctor this week, <laughs> putting eye drops in my eye. But if I ever lose his eye, then I'm completely blind. But I've always told the Lord, the Lord said, even if I go blind, I can't see. I know when you're there. And we got a sign out here in our, our shop that says, Jesus. I got one back, I'm looking over the camera. It says, Jesus, right behind me here. And, and I carry a little thing in my pocket. I go to the banks and cash a check from somebody gives me. I get out my, they ask for identification. So I get out my identification. My identification has my uh, driver's license on, on one side. On the other side, it has a picture, of, uh, a pot puzzle picture of Jesus. And I show them that. So this is my, earth, this, this is my earthly um, identification. This is my eternal date. And, and that kind of makes them wonder. Now, what about me, of course? Sometimes they notice it right off what it is. They can read it, Jesus. And sometimes they can't, uh, they, they can't, can't recognize it. So the clerk ne next to him, I uh, said, I guess it's in what, what we're looking at. And pretty soon that clerk's over there, and there are two of them are trying to figure it out. And then maybe the third, I've had as many as four or five come, come to look, and one of them will know it. That's a J. That's a J. And then E. Oh, they've all got it. So I've, I've had a witnessing time which uh, a crazy 80-year-old man coming in here uh, showing us something about Christianity. That it, it, why is he doing it? Because I love doing it. I love doing it. Hmm.